going on, y'all? I know it's been a little couple of days. What's well, it? A day. It's been a day. It's just one. I ain't gonna lie. I was tired, y'all. So y'all know I've been ripping and running for the past couple for the past two weeks. I have not sat my butt still. So the other day I slept. I was out night night. Gone out like a light. Hey, like a light. Hey. <laughs> That boy was out, but yeah. Uh, how y'all doing? Hope every, all is well with you guys and stuff. And uh, I want to thank you guys for sharing the video on the um, turkey ribs. Make sure you guys that have not seen the video, go ahead and please share. I gave out all the details and stuff on how to, how I did them, how to make them, how to make it taste like a rib. When I tell y'all, if you guys watched the live video, there was no act, there was no facade. That was true reaction, especially if you've seen my sister react on it. She don't, she haven't eaten pork in a very long time. So as a boy, you trying to fool me, is this pork? Trust me. If you can find them, get them. All right. Uh, what's up, Dom Michelle? Lee? Uh, Brenda Mullins? What's going on? Rosetta Wilson? Hello. Emma King? Hello. Yes. Yeah. Toss a, a staying cool ain't the word. Staying cool ain't the word. A hundred degrees today. Oh, Lord. It's a hundred degrees. Yeah. Oh, let me turn this off real quick because I got something that I want to do. I'm doing, a, I'm doing some giveaways. I'm doing giveaways. Um, especially to my for my subscribers, I'm doing some giveaways and stuff on top commenters, top uh, top commenting, or just just interacting with the page. I'm giving away gifts to my supporters as well as I'm giving uh, to to my followers as well. I got something I'm going to give away to my followers. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, for the top for the top three contributors on just my followers, I get a report every month. So start from today, I should get the report next month. Um, that my subscribers are gonna get something completely different. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna give away one of my embroidered hats. The embroidered hat that I have, um, said smack it on it. I'm giving that away, um, embroidered to one of my uh, subscribers for commenting, keep the page alive, and uh, also just you know. And so I'm giving, away, giving that away to three of my top supporters as well. Now for my top uh, uh, followers that's commenting and interacting with the page, sharing my content and everything stuff, I'm going to give away one of these miniature cutting boards with my logos on there, all right? I'm going to give this away. So I don't get the report back until, um, probably I think in the middle of next month when they come back out, when I get the report. And I will post it, all right? And the top people that's on there for commenting and interacting with the page, you will get the small cut board for the top three, all right? It's gonna be a lot. This is, this is, this is called the summer of giveaways. <laughs> I got a whole page of things stuff to do, like I said. So just just, just stay tuned and stuff. I, I'm gonna shoot a reel for this as well. So let, let people know to, to be on alert and everything. Like I said, for my subscribers, the hat, and that hat, is, is, that hat costs $70. That one I have, that's with the army fatigue on it. It's because it's embroidered. That hat is seventy dollars. So, for one of my one of well, three of my subscribers, I'm gonna give away three of those hats to my subscribers. Three of my followers, I'm giving away the cutting board. Okay. Okay. So now let's roll right into this. Hey, Geraldine Bullets. Hey, um, Deborah. Anjanette. Anjanette. So you said I want to say I'll tell your name up. Um. Yvette Harris, I'll make some a quick chicken noodle soup. And inexpensive. So I'm start with some um I salted my water already. I'm gonna start with some get my noodles cooked. And I got some um these just a hearty hearty style egg noodles. So make sure you guys comment, interact with the page, shares, likes, hearts, all that. It's top three. Top three, y'all can get something. And like I said, it's going to keep going on for the, I think for the, the entire summer I'm doing this. It's, it's called the summer of giveaways. <laughs> All right. Let me, so, I got my, so I got some butter in this pan. I got some butter in this pan.
Got some carrots and some celery. I'm gonna add some onions too as well. So for my chicken, what I did for my chicken, I went and got a rotisserie chicken from Publix, which shop is a pleasure. I went to Publix, got a rotisserie chicken, and that's the chicken I'm gonna use for, um, um, I'm gonna use for my chicken. So like I said, so this meal cost me actually under 30 bucks, under $30. And you know, it's the summer, y'all got grandbabies home. Uh, they never dag your grandma, 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 what we gonna eat? What we gonna eat? Can we eat? Yeah, and they trying to tear your pantry up, your refrigerator up, all that up. And you already know, parents is out there, y'all know how it is. Go to summertime, you know, them pockets be crying. In the summertime, the pockets be crying because you, you gotta keep the kids entertained and fed at the same time. You gotta do all, all of it. <laughs> y'all know it's true because look, I was a kid once, I know I used to tear my parents' pockets up. <laughs> And we was always hungry, always wanted to do something. My parents always kept us active at the same time, too. So I know tearing them pockets up. And my mom raised a whole lot of us. It was just my, my, my siblings. It was, of course, like I told you, I have extended family. Um, my mom raised my cousins, a lot of my cousins as well. And, you know, all my family came over to our house to come eat anyway. So this is another one of those meals that's going to be very delicious, simple, easy to make, and cheap. And... Um, so like I said, this is $30. If you spend an extra, if you spend an extra, um, seven to get two chicken, you can get two, you can make a bigger pot because all you got to do is just stretch what I'm doing. All right. So it's a cheap meal that can last for two days inside your household. I'm pretty sure your children will love it. Uh, Tracy Evans, um, Tracy Evans. Hello. <laughs> See, they ain't never this hungry at school, right? Because <laughs> they don't want it. <laughs> they don't want it. They don't want that school food. They want, some, they want your food. They want what you cook. That's why. We always want our parents cooking. Hey, Lolaine. Hey, y'all. Uh, what's going on? Salt these down. We're going to let these vegetables soften. And so this is it's a two pot, two pot. You could do a one pot, but I'm doing it. I'm doing deconstructed because um, it'll take the live too long for this to come back to a boil. So I'm doing deconstructed. This actually could be a one pot meal. You can actually saute your vegetables, add your broth, add your noodles to it. Let, your, let everything cook and then um, make a roux on the outside and then put it in. But I'm doing it deconstructed because it'll take too long for both of these things to interact and then my live will be too long. I'm trying to make, not, make, make, not, try not to make my live too long. I'm also going to add some spinach to this as well when it's almost done. But we're going to let these vegetables soften. While these vegetables soften, uh, while these vegetables are softening, let's go ahead and um, pull our chicken. Let me move you guys over here. Let me pull the chicken. I'm going to show you guys what I got. A rotisserie chicken. I only needed one. I didn't need two. Like I said, if you guys just want to scratch it, just add more broth and add more add, add a little more celery and a little more carrots. And get another bag of spinach as well. Um, you can use frozen or fresh. I got fresh because I'm only making a small pot. But um, what I did was, like I said, I got this rotisserie chicken from Publix. And it's, this was, um, matter of fact, I said $7. It's six ninety nine, dollars And it's, it's most, most rotisserie chickens you go into the store, that's what they cost. No more than $7. Um... If you go to if you go to Sam's, I believe they five five dollars or something else like that, right? Am I right? Something else like that, right? Okay. But we're gonna take this chicken and we're gonna pull the pull the meat off. So this is this is what we're using for our meat. I didn't have to worry about finding the oven up. I don't have to worry about anything else. Um, of um, trying to worry about getting the meat cooked. This is that third stuff. We're gonna take a shortcut today. We're gonna use some rotisserie chicken that's already cooked. I mean, it's perfectly fine because y'all know I can, <laughs> but I'm just showing you guys a, a cheap way to do it. Cheap, easy. I know you'll be tired. This is that third stuff. Like I said, just trying to feed them babies or oh, them grown ones. Whoever, whoever, whoever your kids got, um, you're trying to feed them kids. That's all you're trying to do. All right. We're going to take off the wings. We're not going to waste those. This is my snacks. We're going to take the chicken wings off and we'll eat that. We don't worry about that. They're going to they gonna miss the wings. The wings just gone. They the flew out here. Bye-bye, birdie. <laughs> this chicken's still hot. I just got this chicken. It's still hot. I'm 
And then you get the whole chicken. You even get the chicken back. And the chicken back meat is still the best meat at. The best tasting of the meat is really in the back. The little oyster nuggets, they call it oysters. Right now, that's the piece right here. They call it chicken oysters right there. That piece where that chicken is good. It makes you feel for them bones. And another thing about, you know, the rotisserie chicken to be lightly seasoned. So you can really still season your food the way you want to season your food because they're, they're not that seasoned. Um, so it won't overpower anything that you have going on, you know. So you still can season your food the way you want to season it without worrying about, oh, it's going to make it too salty or whatever. That chicken good. He just, he just, he just slide right over the bone. And when you get to that breast, make sure you pop these bones out of here. Get those, get those push bones out of there and that top gristle. And you want to catch this bone right here. It's two of them on both sides. They, they call them widow makers. You know, you're eating food real fast, stuff like this. And, you know, you get the chumping down and you miss that bone. And you go down the wrong pipe. You go down the wrong pipe. And here it is right here. This bone right here. That bone. It's right there on the top. Of, it's right here on the top of the breast. I always find that little bone. That little guy right there is called the widow maker. It's two of them now. Now you go to the other side. You go to the other side, top of that breast. In case of the breast, right there. You feel right there where that clavicle bone at? It's two of them. Right there. Boom. See, I popped it right, right, it's right there. I'm trying to tell you that little bone right there. Look, widow maker. Shred the chicken up. I'm putting skin and all in there. I'm gonna tear that up. Nice, nice big chunks of chicken in there. It's gonna shred up as you as you get in there. Nice big chunks of chicken. Yeah, chicken breast and tear that tear him up. You, you know you get rough. You got you gotta tear him up. Just because I'm not coming, you know, I already go back and read my comments now. So go make sure you guys comment and stuff, because like I said, I have top three contributors to engagement. Um, the, my, the report already came out this month for for it. And I want to do it. I've been wanting to do it, but I was so busy. I was so busy, and I said, you know, I got to have time to, to, to do it. So I have time. So make sure you guys interact, share, like, interact, talk. Although I'm not talking to you guys, you know, I'll go back and read my comments. Like I said, y'all know y'all get those, those, those little chimes at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, y'all wake up in the morning. Chef Anthony will come and back to me. <laughs> okay, look at look how much meat that whole chicken gave. Like I said, if you want to do two, you can scratch it and do two of them to get more. If you have a large, larger family, I know we, my family, I would need three of them. And, I would, and we would need the bap, and it still probably wouldn't last over the overnight. I'm just saying. But, um, yeah. That's a lot of meat. All right. The vegetables are softened. Let's check our pasta. We don't. We want it right at al dente, and this is perfect. Perfect. We're just gonna turn it off and let it set right there. Cause we're gonna we're gonna take some of the pot, some of this pasta water to add to this as well. So mind your salt in here, okay? Mind your salt. 
All right, I'm gonna add some flour to this because I'm making cream of. So y'all know when I do cream of, we're gonna need the bet a bet meal. You want something hearty, something to stick on the stick on the on the stomach. You you just make a plain broth, then you gonna stick on that stomach. You gonna be back hungry, you gonna be back in that kitchen, tearing your pots up, trying to tell you, make it hearty. So we'll add some flour in here. Man, a little bit more. So when you so mind you when you salt your pasta water, don't make it too salty on this one. If you're gonna do it deconstructed how I'm doing it. If you're gonna do it all together, you uh, you just watch how you season everything and stuff, okay? But uh, if you're doing it deconstructed how I'm doing it, watch that salt in your pasta water. Because you know you're gonna you're gonna need it. And we're gonna let that cook for a little bit. You want your flour to start cooking. It's gonna come to a little bubble. Let the flour start cooking and you'll see it. You just want to get that um that 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 pasty taste out of it. I'm gonna add in some heavy cream. And it's gonna tighten up real quick on you. It's gonna tighten up. Just like that. See how fast it, it tightened up? It's gonna tighten up more. Before you add any chicken base to it, because like I said, you don't want it to be salty, start adding your pasta water. And I might just do half this pasta water and add some. Turn the heat up. So it takes it on to come back to a boil. It's already getting it's already getting nice and creamy. Because the another thing is the starch from the pasta water is gonna help thicken this too. So you wanna add just a little bit of regular water too. This is optional. This is optional. You know, I gotta get a little fancy. <laughs> this is optional. It's bone broth. <clears throat> you find this where your um, chicken is at. The stuff in your refrigerator section. That's bone broth. Or you get this is the this is the real one. It's not the one that you found on the aisle. This is the actual cold bone broth. Watch how it come out the jar. The jar. I'm gonna add a little bone broth to it for my chicken base. So I'm gonna do half of this and then half of some chicken broth. Look, see, it's real broth some bone broth. Okay, I'm gonna add half of that to mine. But if you wanna keep it under the under your under your um your budget or right there, because this is seven ninety nine. Then you'd be at forty dollars. This is um six seven eight nine. But you know I'm gonna use it for something else. So if 
if you want to get the extra little fancy with it, you add the bone broth to it. If not, just add some good old, some good old Nord's chicken bouillon. I'm still adding a little bit of stews because that don't have as much flavor. I just, it don't have the salt content. It has just flavor. Chicken base, chicken broth, and mm -hmm. give this a good old taste. Let me turn this down to it's sticking at the bottom a little bit. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Boy, what you over here doing? <laughs> Boy, what you over here doing? <laughs> Boy, what you over here doing? That is, mm. Go ahead and add the rest of this. Mm, 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 mm. Boy, what you over here doing? All right, for our herbs and um, seasonings and stuff, I'm going to add in some, some parsley. Let's add some parsley in here. Let's go ahead and add a little sage to it. Add a little sage. I'm gonna add some garlic powder. Some black pepper. Need some black pepper and some soup. Help help the um the body get moving around and them juices and stuff get moving around that body. <laughs> some onion powder. I'm gonna change my the color of mine a little bit. You don't have to do this. I'm gonna change it a little bright, brighter yellow color. So I'm gonna add some amarillo yellow co coloring to it. Let's get our spinach. Get a little ranch off, ranch the spinach off. This is another way to fool your kids, get all the vegetables inside of them. You trick them. Put it all in one pot, they can't help but eat it. I don't eat that. Hey, yes, you do. You eat it. You're gonna eat it today. Turn that down a little bit more. Because it's, it's practically done. You don't have to cook no more. Okay. And so, spinach. I'm adding the whole thing. You could do frozen, like I said. Because you know, a whole bag of um, fresh don't do nothing for it. It's gonna take a second to cook down. Good way to trick your kids. Saving that, I'll just add the last, just a little last little bit. I'll throw it in the trash. Take it. Trash right tomorrow. Yeah, I'll just add that, that last little bit of cream. There's no point in me keeping that. If you did this from one pot, you don't have to worry about that. Um, 
add the pasta. You add the pasta. You would do it's a different step you would take. You won't you wouldn't make the um the roux. You would make a flour roux and add it with your cream. That's what you would do. If you do it the other opposite way, do it one pot. Don't 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 um you would saute the vegetables the same way, but don't add that flour like that. You want to add your broth. Let that come to a boil. Add your noodles. Then make a a, a slurry or broth like that. I said a slurry or roux like that on the outside. Then pour that in and let it get thick. Don't do it that way because what happens is it's gonna burn, and your and your noodles won't get done. It'd be a waste of pie. Like, that chef told me no. That chef didn't tell you that way. There's a different method. Whole different method. Okay. Just have to reverse it a little bit. And I could have, for that size pot, I could have actually still do three quarters of a bag. I'll say um, three quarters of a bag and kept a quarter because I don't want it to turn to a lock up so i'm not going to add the rest of my noodles which is a little bit left and that will make a lock up so i don't want it to lock up i still want to be a nice soup consistency so that's fine i just had to waste those but um i don't want to add that to my soup i mean i like really like waste I'll probably do a pasta salad i'm gonna throw it right away if it's gonna take me a minute throw that away <laughs> i'm putting a bag and i'll make a pasta salad or something for lunch I see you. How, how did I miss you? Come here. I see you too. Y'all see him? You're right there. Boom. Right, I missed that. <laughs> mm -mm -mm, I don't know how I miss him. Man. Right there, though. Oh, yeah. Look at that. And you can't tell me them. them your family ain't going to love this. Tell me your family ain't gonna love this. How long that took me? How long did it take me? Thirty minutes, thirty dollar meal. And this is real thirty minutes. This is not one of those uh Rachel Rays, you know what I mean? She got a whole production team going on. I did this. <laughs> Live in the living color. Real thirty minute meal. Oh, that look good. Ooh, Lord, look at that. Ooh, Lord Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. Let me pull it up for you. Let me get in that pot real quick. Let me get in that pot. Mm. Look how hard that is. That look, What? Bomb diggity, baby. Bomb diggity. $30 meal. Bomb diggity. Feed the whole family. Ran off them plug twice. So I can tell you. Let's get a bowl of this because I'm stalling. And if you want to kick it up, you can add a little cayenne pepper to it too as well. But I'm just adding some hot sauce to mine. Nice, hearty. I'm gonna say some chunky, chunky chicken, creamy chicken noodle soup. And if you want to get extra fancy, what you, you can go on ahead and add some some cheese to that thing. Throw some cheese on that thing if you want to. You can throw some cheese in there. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, look at that. tell y'all when I tell y'all look at that look at that y'all just spinach your carrots celery your onions 
your store, your store bar, hurry up chicken. That's what I call it. I got a hurry up chicken. <laughs> you call it a store bar, hurry up chicken. Hurry up. I ain't turn that turn the oven on. I ain't do none of that. Hurry up chicken. <laughs> oh, let get taste this. You know it's hot. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh man, this is this is divine. And it was so simple. This is divine. This was this is what good cooking is, or good simplicity in a bowl. Love, this is what love in a bowl is. This this is a hug in a bowl right here. This is hugging me right now. Oh Lord Jesus, give me a hug. A whole nice little warm hug on this side. I know it's hot outside, but at the same time, it's a hearty meal. It's gonna keep you full throughout the end of all, all night long. Good to go. What's going on, Shell? What's going on, Gary Craig? Lakeisha Johnson, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you already got that right, Lakeisha. You already got that right. That uh, hurry up chicken from Publix is always way better than, um, than Walmart's. Mm. Mm hmm. Dang. This, this is good. My mama love this right here. She would love, my mama would absolutely love this right here. She'd be like, "Gonna give me another bowl." <laughs> she would love this. Hey, Phoebe. Hey, Francis Douglas. Mm. Mm -hmm. Carrots tender, celery tender, chicken tender. I ain't to worry about doing none of that. The noodles are tender, cooked perfectly, and a, and this and the soup is souping. You know, I gotta say, this is soup is souping, baby. Souping. Mm. All right. Teach y'all how to stunt. <laughs> oh, Chris too would say chicken for puppies. Yeah, chicken. You know, and then and then when I came to the store, he was just sliding them bags. I said, is that rotisserie chicken? Because it was empty. The whole shelf was empty. I said, is that rotisserie chicken? <laughs> yeah, give me one of those hurry up chickens. Come on now. Hurry up. <laughs> what up, uh, what's going on, Jim Brown? Yeah, they were, they were regular egg noodles. Oh. Yeah, regular egg noodles. I got the, the Mullers, regular egg noodles. I got a hearty home style though. Egg noodles. All right, so I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to show this one more time. And that's, I'm going to make a video for it. I'm going to make a video for it to where you guys can get, you know, know what I mean? Like, oh, like, share, this that third stuff. Um, to three of my followers, I'm giving away this. For my subscribers, three of my top subscribers, hold on a second, we'll get the hat. It's this hat right here. It's this hat right here. Like this hat is embroidered. This is not a what you call it. This is this is not no tiki. What you call it is it's actually embroidered. And then, like I said, this hat cost me sixty five dollars. I'm gonna give it to three of my subscribers, top, top, top engagers. Okay. Like I said, the report come out every month. <laughs> Go through it. We're gonna send the hats. We're gonna send the cutting board. All right. This will be posted. All right, you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said, always comment, like, share. Uh, for those that always share, I do appreciate you guys. I was, of course, wasn't able to do things and stuff now uh, back then. But, of course, I always told you guys, I will soon. You know what I mean? Just have a little patience with me. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a fresh page. I'm fresh out the gate. I got a lot of things going on and stuff. And with, with Lord willing and with God's grace, I'm able to do a lot more things and stuff. And I do appreciate you guys for your patience and stuff. I really do appreciate you guys so much. Um... But, um, yeah, a lot more things going to be happening and stuff, and y'all just stay tuned for it. Because, like I said, hold on to your seats, because God's going to take me on a ride. Woo! 
<laughs> I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Y'all have a good night. Peace. Try the recipe. It's delicious. <laughs>